फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया एंड ऑन माय ओन बिहाफ आई हैव ग्रेट प्लेजर इन वेलकमिंग यू ऑल टू दिस सिंपोजियम यूनेस्को हैज सिंस इट्स इंसेप्शन बीन ऑर्गेनाइजिंग सेमिनार्स डिस्कशन ग्रुप्स एंड सिंपोजिया फॉर द कंसिडरेशन ऑफ वेरियस प्रॉब्लम्स दैट अफेक्ट the relations of nations and countries and for the creation of better understanding through the exchange of knowledge and experience in many fields this symposium is concerned with an even more fundamental issue today philosophers of the east and the west have met to discuss the concept of man himself who can deny that this issue is the basic one of the modern age and on its satisfactory solution depends the future of man i am therefore specially happy to welcome you here to this ancient land of philosophers and seers i earnestly hope that the spirit of india with its long traditions of wisdom and spirituality will inspire all your deliberations in the last 6000 years or more the human being has traveled over a vast region from his early beginnings in primitive society this period has seen man overcome many hidden obstacles and meet the challenge of inanimate nature and the animate world in spite of all the vicissitudes which man has had to face during this period there has on the whole been continuous and steady progress in resting from nature some of her greatest secrets veil after veil has been torn apart from the hidden face of nature and secrets that are still unknown are yielding to his quest while man's triumphant progress in unveiling the face of nature has been steady and continuous can we say with equal confidence that he has succeeded in unveiling the lineament of his own self can we say that after 6000 years of quest of the real man today sees himself as he essentially is i think you will agree that we have to make a sad confession in this matter the mirror that man has fashioned reflects all aspects of the world but not his own inner self we have to admit that man has not yet been able to form a clear picture of his own nature the secrets of the universe are clearer to him than the secrets of the self for some 3000 years of more philosophers have again and again asked what man is whence he comes from the basic issue before you is the consideration of this problem you have met to discuss the concept of man as it has been enunciated by thinkers in the east and the west i would at the very beginning like to emphasize that in speaking of the east and the west we are thinking only of certain special features in the thought of these regions this can not and does not mean that there are not large areas of common and agreed ground man all over the world has adopted common methods of reasoning 
एंड थोट द ह्यूमन रीजन इन वन एंड आइडेंटिकल ह्यूमन फीलिंग्स आर लार्जली सिमिलर द ह्यूमन विल ऑपरेट मोर और लेस इन द सेम मैनर इन सिमिलर सिचुएशंस एवरीवेयर इट इज देयर फॉर नेचुरल दैट द ह्यूमन वे ऑफ लुकिंग एट हिमसेल्फ एंड द वर्ल्ड इज लार्जली कॉमन इन डिफरेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द वर्ल्ड देयर एटीट्यूड्स टूवर्ड्स द अनोन मिस्ट्रीज ऑफ एग्जिस्टेंस आर ऑल्सो लार्जली सिमिलर द ग्रीक्स हु लुकड विद एडमायरेशन एंड ओ अपोन द पीक्स ऑफ ओलिम्पस शेयर्ड द सेम फीलिंग्स एज द इंडियन हु मेडिटेटेड इन द वैलीज ऑफ द हिमालयाज एंड लुकड अपोन इट्स एटरनल स्नो In spite of large areas of agreement human minds in different regions of the world have adopted a different approach to some of their common problems even where the approach has not been different there has been a tendency to place a different emphasis on the different aspects of common problems and common solutions no two situations are exactly alike it was inevitable that people in different regions should pay greater attention to different aspects of common problems it is on account of such differences in emphasis that we describe a particular mode of thought as characteristic of a particular nation or region it is from this point of view that i will try to formulate what are the differences that characterize the east from the west i think you will all agree that even where the solutions are similar in pattern and outline there are differences in shade and color which justify us in calling some of the solutions eastern and others western there are as i have said many points in common between the views of philosophers in the east and the west but there is one distinction in emphasis between india greece and china which strikes us from the very beginning of recorded history in india the emphasis of philosophy has on the whole been on the inner experience of man philosophers here have sought to understand man's inner nature and in this pursuit have gone beyond the regions of sense intellect and even reason stop